Hi, good people. Uh, first, I want to thank all my subscribers and those taking time to like my videos. Whoa, the gift that keeps giving. Come and watch one among so many trading videos about uh, P. Daddy. Watch this video. Now, how you feel about these rumors surrounding, you know, Diddy and T.D. Jakes? Why would a religious man like himself be at a party, which it ain't nothing but sin that's going on, bro? If Bishop Jakes was at a Diddy party, there could only be two reasons. Money or sex. That's all that happens at Diddy parties. Because people always put their faith in the pastor instead of putting their faith in God. Since the announcement of Diddy testifying, it seems like celebrities have found themselves under scrutiny. While that might not be surprising, have you ever imagined a bishop being caught in the crossfire and feeling the heat? Well, allegedly, Bishop T.D. Jakes is now in the spotlight after news broke that Diddy is set to testify in court and may reveal other high-profile names linked to him. If Bishop Jakes was at a Diddy party, there could only be two reasons. Money or sex. That's all that happens at Diddy parties. Yes, you guessed it. This could spell trouble for everyone associated with Diddy, as he's expected to drop names and many believe the FBI might start targeting them too. Rumor has it that T.D. Jakes allegedly tried to flee the country on the day of Diddy's arrest, as old photos and videos of him partying with Diddy have resurfaced and gone viral. It could be your favorite pastor probably led them to damnation because those people's hearts are gonna be broken if that man is seen on those tapes doing anything. A bishop partying with Diddy? That certainly raises questions about his morality. Plus, there's evidence that could land him in hot water. So, will Diddy call him out too and drag him down along with himself? Let's find out. You don't often see big name preachers making headlines for anything other than their sermons, right? But lately it seems that Bishop T.D. Jakes has broken away from that usual story finding himself in some pretty unexpected news. And now things have taken an even darker turn with whispers of legal trouble popping up alongside his name. Now, Jakes isn't a stranger to the media spotlight. Over the years, he's built a massive following, and with his connections to some of the biggest names in the entertainment world, he's carved out a solid place in society. And of course, fame has a way of bringing attention, both good and bad. Unfortunately, it seems like his recent headlines aren't about spreading the gospel. Over the years, people have criticized T.D. Jakes for cozying up to some pretty questionable characters, but he's always shrugged it off, never letting the naysayers get to him until now. Lately, though, it seems like that squeaky clean image might be cracking. Once you get pulled into one controversy after another, it's hard to keep the public from starting to wonder if there's truth behind the rumors. And that's where Jakes is right now. People are beginning to doubt whether he's as innocent as he's portrayed himself to be all these years. Things escalated when two people came forward, claiming they had disturbing experiences with Jakes when they were younger. In a strange twist, his own son has been caught up in a separate scandal, which has only made people more willing to believe the latest accusations. Just recently today, I've heard from two other victims that <sighs> so it's just a lot to talk about, that experienced the same thing that I experienced. Jakes has had his share of tough situations in the past, but honestly, the timing of these new claims couldn't be worse for him. While T.D. Jakes's church is what initially put him in the public eye, it's not the only thing that's kept him there. Over the years, some surprising stories have come up, like the incident involving his son, and things even went as far as linking him to being associated with Diddy. According to a Dallas police report, Jermaine Donald Jakes, the son of the well-known Dallas megachurch pastor who has called Homo City a form of brokenness and said he would never hire an openly gay person, was arrested during a gay S sting at Keese Park some time ago. Jermaine was charged with indecent exposure after allegedly exposing himself to two undercover vice officers. Senior Corporal Janice Crowther, a Dallas Police Department spokesperson, confirmed that both detectives involved were male. The arrest affidavit explained that the detectives were investigating complaints about S activity at the park when they spotted Jermaine and other men arriving in the parking lot. They followed him into a wooded area where, according to the report, he walked up to them with his pants unzipped and exposed himself. What's more surprising is that he stood there for several seconds, making eye contact with one of the detectives without bothering to cover himself, 
Even though people were nearby, walking and jogging, court records revealed that Jermaine Jakes listed his workplace as T.D. Jakes Ministries, which made the situation even more awkward. Though he was detained, he was eventually released at the scene. For those who don't know, T.D. Jakes is the founder of the Potter's House, a 30,000-member church in South Dallas. The irony of the situation is hard to ignore, since the bishop has always been an outspoken critic of same-ass marriage. He's also been criticized by HIV-AIDS activists for contributing to the stigma around homosexuality and drug use. And now, his own son has been caught in a scandal that's hard to overlook. As if his son's scandal wasn't enough, Bishop T.D. Jakes may soon face even more serious issues. Rumor has it that he could be dealing with essay allegations in court. One of his former mentees, Manasseh Jordan, recently claimed in a video that victims of the so-called power bottom Bishop are preparing to file lawsuits. Remember when the prophetess warned about this? It seems like her prediction is coming true. In the video, Manasseh Jordan, once close to Bishop Jakes, shared that he has spoken with new victims who have come forward. He also claimed that Jakes G at him, and now others are sharing similar stories. It's no secret that Manasseh used to have a close bond with the bishop. In fact, there's a photo out there showing him looking as comfortable with Jakes as Diddy does in that well-known shot with the Black Pope. But it seems Manasseh has finally broken free and is now using his platform to help other victims speak out. In a video posted by Manasseh on December 30th, he discussed the new victims who have come forward against Bishop T.D. Jakes. Just recently today, I've heard from two other victims that it's just a lot to talk about that experienced the same thing that I experienced, Manasseh said in the video. Just recently today, I've heard from two other victims that so it's just a lot to talk about that experienced the same thing that I experienced. Manasseh is now claiming that two people he spoke to were allegedly G. Ed and Sly A by Bishop T.D. Jakes. In another part of the video, Manasseh said these two victims opened up to him about the G they supposedly experienced at the hands of Jakes. According to their accounts, they revealed that Jakes also allegedly A them. Two of the offenders were not only a victim of G, as what I described in some of my previous videos, but of S.A. S.A. Manasseh Jordan said, from the same P-dater that G-ed me and violated me as a man, they're going to be pressing charges. S.A. So, from the same p-dater that it's one thing to openly criticize gay people, but it's another when your own son gets involved in the same situation you dislike. And it's a whole different story if you find yourself caught up in the very issues you publicly oppose, don't you think? This is even more concerning when it could lead to a major legal battle. However, it seems that what's even more concerning for T.D. Jakes is that Diddy is now under FBI arrest. Who knows? T.D. could be next if Diddy testifies and names him. With Diddy facing serious time, it appears he might go to any lengths to get out of jail as soon as possible. He's so desperate to get out of jail that Sean, his lawyer, mentioned that the rapper can't wait to take the stand in his upcoming trial. This could mean he's ready to spill the beans on some big names connected to the situation. I don't know that I could keep him off the stand. I think he is very eager to tell his story. And I think he will tell every part of his story, Agnifilo said. He has his story, and he has a story that I think only he can tell in the way he can tell it in real time, he said. It's a human story. It's a story of love. It's a story of hurt. It's a story of heartbreak. I, I, I don't know that I could keep him off the stand. Uh, I, I think he is very eager to tell his story, and I think he will tell every part of his story, including what you see on the video. So it seems that more people will be going down with Diddy, as he also has evidence against those individuals to prove it in court. To make matters worse, T.D. Jakes and Diddy used to party and hang out together. And guess what? Just a couple of weeks ago, the preacher found himself in a bit of trouble involving a rapper. And let's just say it didn't do his reputation any favors. Social media has become a lively space where people gain fame, trends come and go, and controversies steal the show. The recent buzz about famous cleric T.D. Jakes and rap mogul P. Diddy highlights this busy online world. T.D. Jakes, a well-known name, recently caught attention, not for his preaching, but for his rumored link to P. Diddy. 
This unexpected pairing of two very different figures has sparked a wave of speculation and conspiracy theories. Diddy, also known as Sean Combs, is familiar with controversy, but this new twist adds another layer to his already complicated image. The drama started with TikTok influencer Miaishia, who shared a viral video making serious claims about Diddy's past relationship with his ex, Cassie. The accusations included shocking details about physical and a misconduct. Among the surprising claims were stories of wild parties allegedly hosted by Diddy, where T.D. Jakes was said to be a frequent guest. To make things even wilder, the video hinted at a mysterious phone belonging to Diddy's late ex-girlfriend, Kim Porter, possibly being involved. Her death has always been wrapped in mystery, with Diddy often being at the center of speculation. This explosive video took the internet by storm, leaving fans shocked, especially about Bishop Jakes's supposed involvement in these questionable activities. After facing some serious accusations and a wave of backlash on social media, the preacher seems to have addressed the situation. In a recent service streamed on YouTube, Jakes took the opportunity to use his sermon to set the record straight about the claims which he firmly labeled as completely untrue. Now I'm gonna close with this. I ain't come to convince you or nobody, because I know who I am. I didn't come to convince you or nobody because I know who I am, an emotional Jake said. That is not what this is about. You can think about whatever you want to think. I came to do my job. I came to prophesis as I was commanded. I came to hear the master say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. But hey, didn't Diddy also try to clear his name and even go as far as to settle the lawsuit with Cassie by offering a huge amount of money? But that's not all, guys. This doesn't just spell trouble for T.D. Jakes because of his actions. It also means trouble for other celebrities and politicians. Diddy has partied and hung out with. Now, many people on social media think that Diddy won't be able to testify ever because they will Epstein him. A user wrote on X, let's hope they don't Epstein Diddy. Another user said, Diddy knows a lot about so-called important people. He better have 24 hour protection in prison with guards who don't fall asleep. The situation with T.D. Jakes and Diddy is just getting started and it's getting interesting. With all the accusations flying around and secrets that might come out in court, we have no idea how this will end. I hope you watched the video from beginning to the end. It's important. Please remember to subscribe, share, and like. Thank you.